Today on Straight Talk Africa, we have opened the telephone lines for you so that you, the audience, can ask any question that is on your mind or make any comment or express an opinion that reflects the concerns of your community or neighborhood. In other words, it's your show. You set the agenda. Coming up next, right here on Straight Talk Africa. Hello, welcome to Straight Talk Africa, live from the Voice of America studios here in Washington. It's Wednesday, July 18th. I am Shaka Sali. Today, we have opened the telephone lines for you, the audience, so that you can set today's agenda. There is a lot happening on the continent, and my colleague Paul Cisco has more on that. South African Home Affairs Minister, Kosozana Dramini Zuma, was sworn in Tuesday as the new chairperson of the African Union Commission. She is the first South African and the first woman to hold the post. The former wife of South African President Jacob Zuma won a tough battle for the position, defeating incumbent chairperson John Ping, who called her victory a memorable moment and wished her success on her noble mission for the AU. President of Benin, Dr. Thomas Yayiboni, is currently the president of the African Union as well. Democracy has played out effectively here. We have chosen democratically. The leadership contest persisted for more than a year, with French-speaking African states generally preferring Ping and most English-speaking states supporting the South African diplomat. My election should not be seen as a personal victory but it should be seen as a victory for the African continent in general and for women in particular. Dramini Zuma is expected to stress economic growth and development across the continent, as well as women's rights. To North Africa, where the first election in a post gaddafi Libya took place with only isolated cases of violence, according to international observers. Election observer, Alexander Lambsdorff. I can say that the elections here in Libya have been remarkably well. And in less than one year, the country has gone from the fall of Tripoli and the end of the dictatorship to a democratic election. The National Forces Alliance, NFA, led by Mahmoud Jabril, won 41 of the 80 seats allotted for political parties in the 200-seat General National Congress. We turn to Nigeria, where Saturday's election in the Edo state is being viewed as the first real indicator of what's to come in the 2015 national vote. Police say political assassinations led up to the vote, and there are reports various groups are readying themselves for post-election violence. There has also been a frightening escalation of religious violence in Nigeria. Suicide bombers and the radical Islamic group Boko Haram are believed responsible for the church attacks, killing scores of people and injuring more than 100 others. More than 580 deaths this year alone are blamed on Boko Haram. Finally, in other Nigerian news, Mariam Aloha Mukhtar has been sworn in as the nation's first female chief justice. Activists say the country's judicial system is corrupt and in dire need of reform. The 68-year-old Mukhtar has over 40 years of legal experience. President Goodluck Jonathan says she has earned the chief justice post through her brilliance, resilience, and hard work. Paul Cisco, BOA News.